And it's this idea that people need to come together. You know, I think the pandemic has highlighted, but you know, a lot of people have been working remote for years and it's, it can be hard. So welcome to the back home studio. We're a 9,000 square foot co-working space, shared office space. Uh, we're now upstairs where most of our private spaces are. Uh, this is a casual uh, meeting area. We call it cafe seating. We've got the table spread apart. Let's take a further look. This room, the Eagle's Nest, is a good place to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Uh, three different conference rooms on our ground floor. This is our largest, called Tucker's Garage. Um, and it can hold, uh, you know, somewhere between 12 and 20 people, depending on the setup. This is more uh, sort of boardroom style. We've we'll also done classroom style. We've done a lot of programs with the Neighborhood Theater Group where they've done improv or comedy or uh, read original scripts. This is our open co-working space. We have about 40 desks uh, in the open uh, area. Members either rent them by the day or by the month. We have four private offices on this floor. Uh, in a previous life, this was uh, Pub 13, which uh, the second floor was a sports bar. So we kept a pool table and a foos table uh, from that. The back office studio is a co-working um, studio first and foremost. Co-working is, is the idea of a shared office space, a place to work together. And it's this idea that people need to come together. You know, I think the pandemic has highlighted, but you know, a lot of people have been working remote for years and it's, it can be hard. There are people who thrive working out of their home, but a, a lot of the rest of us really need to be around people, even if we're not working on the same project or the same company. The other thing I think that makes us unique is we have a real commitment to the community. Um, and we feel a real obligation to help uh, Ipsy grow and build and be a, a, a center for innovation and for connection. Uh, one of the things the back office studio has done in this last year is we've created the Ipsy pop-up market. Um, our street has been closed uh, for pedestrians only the last two summers. And so we bought uh, some six tents with help of the Ipsy DDA. And we've been hosting uh, the Ipsy pop-up market every weekend. Um, uh, May 8th will be our first iteration. And we're excited to have uh, artists, crafters, vendors back to sell their wares. Uh, and that's been a really fun way to connect and to add value to, to the Ipsy community. Before the pandemic, you know, the, the most valuable thing for me was the in-person events, the Coffee Connect, uh, the Year Ender event, uh, the Lunch and Learn kind of events were all fantastic. In the last year, we've been doing more virtual events, which has been nice. I think the Chamber has done a nice job pivoting and adding value and helping people connect. Also, just like that the Chamber staff has been warm and welcoming, and they've been a great resource when I need a connection or I'm looking for a service, I can call and get a quick answer. Again, I'm John Newman from the Back Office Studio. Um, have a great day, be safe, and be kind.